wiped out. You are the greatest tired. MC. You are great. You are just terrific. I've never done that before. You were wonderful. But I don't meet any strangers, so I have no problem talking uh, with people. You were great. You started running around the microphone. Uh, yeah, I did. I almost died for you. <laughs> you, you know, you know what I was thinking. I was thinking, you are the next. Who's that guy? With the white hair, married to. <laughs> you know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. What did I do wrong? <laughs> what? It's, it's not enough. You got a deal. When I, That's what you told me? When I make a deal with somebody, I live by it, sweetheart. Okay. All right. It was longer than I thought, but don't worry about it. And I, I promise you, if you get a show, and I'll find some of my wife. I love me if I tell them I'm coming back. Oh. What was this like for you today? What? Oh, the camera? No. No, what? What you talking about? The film and the story. Oh, it's so tight. Long. Uh, I kept your VHS, you know what's going on. You, you can get another one, yeah, because I want to show it to somebody. Who? My oh, family. SCTV? Okay. Oh, they got one. They loaned it to the editor, uh, the pay, guy at the paper, Doug Nye. What? They loaned it to Doug Nye, the guy that wrote article in the state paper. Check, SCTV did? Check yeah. around all the bathrooms. And I'll bet you should be there. I have. I'd get lost in this school. I got the camera stuff in front seat, too, so I'll put it somewhere. Good. Judith, wandering around with that. You're still recording. All right, just so tell me, just what was this like for you? It was exciting, but it was tiring. I mean, it was, it was fun. You learned a lot, I mean, from being in A lot of hard work, and I know y'all had to work real hard on it to get all the information. And what about, you know, the fact that, you know, your great-granddad was involved in all this? Oh, it's kind of scary because, I mean, you never know, but I know he didn't have, he, he didn't shoot or anything, but... Some of the stories that Uncle Frank's been telling me about, it, some of them are kind of funny, the things that Great Granddaddy Beecham would do, you know, so. Like after, not what? in the meal and all, just like in, in his free time. What's the scary part? Just knowing that seven people died in Honeypath because of that. I mean, you know, that's pretty scary because you never know. I mean, it could happen again. Not that I don't believe it would, but seven, I mean, it could be more than seven with all the stuff, that, all the guns and all that we have out now. Oh, I can't get under, but in there, no, I can do all of it. You know what? I could. I'm going to call him in the morning. So what was this like for you today? Exhausting. I'm sunburned. Uh. <laughs> Don't do any of your mood questions on me now. All right. What did you think of the documentary? The truth, please. It's too long. You're too late for honesty. Wasn't enough about honey a pet. Here you go. <laughs> We've already heard that complaint. It Give us a note. Personally, I think you ought to make a What? Didn't I say nice stuff? He did. He did. Yeah, he told the state newspaper guy it was a genius. That you were a genius. Yeah, and it, but of course he was doing that because we had a deal. I'm trying to get him. And, and then he uh, tried to get Jim to uh, put his name in the Greenville News, except he was going to charge him ten dollars, and uh, I told him to get half a name for five. But you know. Just tell me real quick, what was the most outstanding, extraordinary thing that that occurred to you today in terms of the people you met? Extraordinary thing. Oh, I think finding out from that gentleman that was shot that my grandfather really wasn't having breakfast. Really wasn't what? Wasn't having breakfast. That I, I finally have debunked that story. That was uh, that was from a personal investigative moment. You know, I, I I needed to pin that down. I never believed it, and now I've done it. And he's sure. I mean, he says it. Uh, he repeated it several what times. What time did the uh, massacre take place? The what? What time did the thing take place? In the morning? Yeah. 6.40 something? Or? 
Seven, they say seven to eight. Sometimes they seven to eight. Okay. Really the, the important thing the man was able to pin down for me is that my grandfather was with the police chief and one other man who I don't who be George named him. George, George Page. Page and Beecham and I got the other guy's name right And that he was literally seconds from walking by them when he was shot. Mm -hmm. And he knew yes. precisely where they were, and they, he was not having breakfast at home, like he you said. Her yeah. I'm her and I believe this man, because he, he, he yeah. said if there was one thing he was sure of, that was it, you know. Judy, he said you could do it all in the You've got to. Okay, don't worry, it's not over. It better not. It's be. not over, we're friends, Robert. That's it. An eternity. An eternity. That's what Disney you did all this animation. You got it, man. Because remember, you got a sister in Baltimore. You know, and I got a brother. brother. That's right. Yes, they were. You did a great job. You should feel so good about yourself. So good. I'm Didn't feeling so tired. All right. I'll tell you what, I'm going to call that in the morning. I don't think I can. I've got a whole You're like I am with your wife. Yeah, I, yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. What, what do you want me to do? Sign. What do you want me to do? I want you to sign this. What are you getting everybody to do? I'm, I'm getting everybody to sign this because I feel well, like they are very day, special funny, and huh? this would not happen if they wasn't here. And I would like to remember. Wait a minute. We want to see your eyes and your face. All right, I'll sign. I'll sign. Yeah. Hey, we want to sign that one more time. Yeah, okay, give me that. I wouldn't let you sign this from the. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Turn up. Ah, yeah. oh, there you go. All right. Well, when a good friend of mine comes to town in about two weeks, I was going to get him to autograph you a ball cap. So now I'm going to have to get it. Oh, oh, wait, oh, no. Hang on, hang on. That was the most hang fun on. I've had no, in about he a went year. To school. He was too Riding busy around with him on his golf, golf cart. That was the most <laughs> fun. Dale Earnhardt. Oh. And he will be at my house in about two weeks. All right. Let, okay. him, let me know. Hey, uh, who stole that pen? Give me that well, pen. Okay. So Give me that pen. Frank Jr. Is it Frank Jr.? Uh, no, I'm Frank Jr. So You're Frank, Frank Jr.? Well, we're not anymore, but we just... I'm, I'm big Frank. He's little Frank. Little Frank, sign off. What do you want? Sign off. Say, tell us, that, cap the day off for us before everything runs out. Okay, uh, um, I woke up at, you on my day or everybody? Just say goodnight to everybody. Just end it off. Just put a good end to this day. All right. This has been the most exciting day that everybody around here has. And it's been fun. And I hope y'all have a good night. See ya. This is signing off by Frank Beecham. The, may, the genius... Frank Beecham, senior. He, yeah. he's. This is my. He's my state paper. Are we he's in it? my uncle, and I'm his nephew. Call 34 up, brother. Never ends. What's it? And there's the Wall Street. Town of Wall Street. Wow. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yes. We don't need that part. We're not gonna buy anything, are we? Mm -hmm. Morally, we can sell. The state paper now. <laughs> It's not anything you worth buying it over. The, tomorrow's the story. He's writing another one. There'll okay. be another one tomorrow. Half acre. Truth will be yeah, out tomorrow. I guess. Hey, I called you genius on that tape. Oh, thank you. All right, everybody. I think this has been an exceptional day here in Honey Path, South Carolina. Bye, you. <laughs> Pretty good for two New Yorkers. When are you leaving? When are you leaving? Yeah. When are you going home? He's from Columbus. Got you. Yeah, we we need need to talk to right when are you leaving? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. No, come on. I mean, you don't forget what? the promise we made to Jimmy Dean Ashley, the police. But the tape? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. What did he want? He wanted uh, Jimmy Dean Ashley. Yeah. With the Honey Path Police Department. Wants one of the tapes, the uprising of 34, so he can show it to people that he knows here in town that is housebound, that could not get out to see it, that very much wants to see it. Okay. Please remember, because I told him that I had talked to you and you said you could get him a copy. Okay. This is like a free copy, right? This is like a free copy. All right, Beecham. All right. Yeah, because they've done so much for us today. Okay. I mean, he wasn't even supposed to be on duty today. Okay. I think. We did. Okay, take care. It was fun, I it's think. Great to see you. Okay. <laughs> Let me get out of this town. Okay, and don't forget to send me that film. Oh, I'll send you some things. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, my students will appreciate it. I think it's breakfast. The way he's reading the Watch out for the golf cart. Eggs and coffee, Sue. No, oh, well, that grows yeah, up and won't right, be a Rolls right. Royce. George. I think this was great. Yeah, I think it is too. <laughs>
No, is, is that a home video? I mean, what are you gonna do with that? We'll wait till you're old enough to come and edit it. Oh, no, really, what are you gonna do with that? I'm pretty serious. It's just, it's just, it's just. You we know. got a commitment. Okay. There's one part of that. This is your screen test. Thank you. This is your screen test. Or MTV. Still got to deal with NPR. I don't think everybody's gonna have a copy. What? NPR. Yeah, about next week. I mean, they want a lot of stuff. I don't know what. I mean, some it's everywhere. You know, I don't even know how to organize it for them. I'll help. Well, well, well I mean, in terms of all the stuff that you recorded or the stuff that we recorded, or they want stuff, lots of it, and they're gonna want it by Thursday. Why do they want it a week from now? Why can't they wait till the time of our broadcast on around the 27th? Because they said they wanted it next week. Well, let's know. pitch them a couple of weeks from now. I mean, pitch them for we'll around the broadcast. We'll see if they even care if I don't get the guy tomorrow, which I'm not getting. So he won't see me now. Try to get those other okay. Right. Yeah, okay. Have a good trip back. Okay. Thank you. See you later. Nice okay. meeting okay. you. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night. Thank you. Sleep well, Frank. Yeah. You did a great job today. Oh, we're, we're all